What's going on people, it's Greg here with another Excel VBA tutorial video. Today we'll be going over how to list all files in any given folder. So let's get into it. Alright, so I've got three windows open here. On the left I got my VBA editor, on the upper right got my Excel file, lower right got my file explorer, and what I want to do is have write code that's going to allow the user to select a folder and then list all the files in that folder. So to start we're going to use this folder here and list all the files here hopefully so we'll start with our sub let's call it list all files in folder and this code is a modification of the spreadsheet guru's code um, I'll have a link in the description it's a really cool site make sure to check it out we'll declare variables my path as string my file as string folder picker as file dialog we'll also declare um, our sheet we'll call it sh as worksheet and then we'll have a variable i as an integer so we'll set first we'll set our sheet equal to this workbook dot sheets and then the name of the sheet is sheet one so we'll put sheet one here I could change this name let's do list of files and you see over here that list of files is connected to sheet one so what I can do is instead of changing the name to list of files I can just put the number one here and it'll reference that sheet so I can have whatever name on this tab and it'll still work it'll still reference the correct sheet so let's go to setting our folder picker and that'll be equal to application file dialog MSO dialog folder picker and then with folder picker we'll choose a title let's let's be nice let's say uh, please select folder and then we won't allow multi-select so We'll set multi select equal to false. Our button name, when a person chooses a file, or sorry, when a person chooses a folder, um, we'll just say confirm with a question mark. And then if dot show is equal to negative one then we're going to set my path equal to the selected folder and get that file path otherwise so else will just end the entire macro so now we can end our if and then end our width and if we run this as is what will happen so we'll get this I see how it says please select folder and then down here our button says confirm with the question mark so we can select the test folder confirm we're good I'm going to take away that question mark though I don't like that Alright, so now we'll set my file equal to the directory and then my path and then we'll set i equal to 1 and create a do while loop to move through the folder. So as long as my, so do while my file is not equal to nothing. What we're going to do is 
with our sheet list of files so sh we're going to move down the rows so we need to make the first parameter a variable so that's going to be our i the second one's going to be the column so that's just a one we're not going to change columns just the rows so i1 set that equal to my file so the list of files will just populate as a loop goes through and then we'll set my file equal to the directory there and then we'll iterate our i so we'll just set i equal to i plus one and then loop again so let's go ahead and run it choose my test folder which is this folder right here confirm and there you go got your three files daily report PDF daily report Excel or world cities Excel so now we can choose another folder let's go with this one here it's in my images flags folder and let's clear the data here prior to populating the list just so we don't get residual data so let's choose a good spot to put it um, let's put it right here so after the person chooses the, the file if they decide to choose a file and the macro doesn't end if they hit cancel we'll go ahead and clear the contents of our sheet so we'll do sh cells clear contents so now let's run it again and now we have all the files in this folder which you can see here now what happens if if someone does choose a folder that doesn't have any files in it we should create an, a message right because right now if they were to choose a file a folder with no files in it so let's create a new folder here and call it empty if they choose it nothing right we get nothing but let's let's create a message for the for the user so if there is no file if there are no files in the folder I will never iterate it'll always it'll always be one so at this point after the loop if I is still equal to one then we're gonna create a message box that says there are no items in this folder and then we can end our if so let's run this again so we'll choose the empty folder confirm there we go there are no items in this folder if we choose this one we got our list Choose this one. You got this list. And yeah, there you have it. Um, pretty cool. Thanks a lot for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Have a good one.